with a gain of 40. And the rotation of the safeties again, they get totally beat by this. Watch as the safety is going to just run out of there, and he just vacates the, the gap. Brad Hawkins was the safety number 20. Wisconsin runs right there. They run a little bit of a counter. They bring the guard around to pull in, and Shaw hits the hole, and he's gone for a big game. Tell you what. NFL offensive linemen grow on trees here in the state of Wisconsin. <laughs> That's right. They do. That hole was so big for Shaw. 344 yards rushing for the Badgers. Shaw again. Lavert Hill with the tackle. Big, strong, smart. The old lineman that come out of Wisconsin. Let's not leave the fullbacks out. Watch Stocky come just right up the hole, and he's going to come to his left and then lead up right in the middle, and boom, he just faces up the middle linebacker. That was Cameron McGrone, and that allows Shaw to cut off of that. Good fullback block right in the hole right there. More positive yards, and again, a safety. This time, Lavert Hill, the corner, secondary player for Michigan, has to come up and make the tackle. Offensive lineman Michael Dieter drafted third round to Miami. This past season, David Edwards, fifth round of the Rams. Another first down. What is it, do you think, Joel? How do they, year in and year out, always, is it development yeah, I or think is it's it just both. talent? I think it's both. I think that this is a good region of the country to get recruit big offensive linemen that can run this style. They had them last year. Last year, they were touted as the best offensive line in the country before the year. And now, all of a sudden, there's only one of them left, Tyler Biotis. And yet... I would argue they're better right now on the offensive line than what they were last year. And a lot of that was injury. All those guys moved on to the NFL. Dietzen had to retire, actually, due to some injuries. But for whatever reason, it didn't mesh last year. This year, they seem to have all the cylinders firing. All start. Offense number 78, five-yard penalty. First down. And what I think is amazing about the O-linemen here, look at their starters this year. Cole Van Lannan from Green Bay. Jason Erdman from Richfield. Tyler Biotish from Amherst, Wisconsin. Josh Seltzner from Columbus, Wisconsin. Logan Bruss from Appleton, Wisconsin. Their backups, Tyler Botch from Grafton, Wisconsin. Caden Lyles from Madison, Wisconsin. I think you understand my drift. Everybody's from here. Like I said, there's a good region of the country to recruit offensive linemen. First down, Watson. There's, a, there's also another element to this is that not every program can get away with running an offense like this. So they've got two things going for them. They've got great, I mean, excellent, epic running back history. That's number one. And number two, they can stay in state and get the linemen necessary to run this style of system, this pro downhill style of system. So they've got a good recruiting base locally in order to run this system. And they can go out there and get these backs who are sensational players. And they've got one of them in Jonathan Taylor. Second down and nine of the 20. Cone to throw, drops it off, almost picked off. Dangerous throw by Cone, Aiden Hutchinson. Had a hand on the football. And the leader of this offensive line for Wisconsin, Tyler Biotish, the center. His coach, I don't know if our director, Rich Dewey, can get a good shot, but he says he looks like a badger. <laughs> Oh, I don't know what that means. It. I think I don't here, know if that's a compliment. Up here, it's a compliment, right? Here's Tyler. Does he look like a badger, folks? Yeah. I think he looks like a supermodel. But I'll take it right now. Wait, up here, aren't those one and the same? <laughs> Third down and die at the 20. Cone. In trouble. And sacked. Khalid Hudson. 11-yard loss. And really the first time all day that he wasn't able to throw on time. So finally, good job in the secondary with that coverage. And Cone had nowhere to go with the ball. And Hudson was able to get home on the pressure from that Viper position. So Michigan, way too little, way too late here in terms of finding some success on the defensive side. So Colin Lars comes in to attempt a 48-yarder. He went 0 for 2 in the season opener which were the first field goal attempts of his college career, but nailed a 28-yarder last time out against Central Michigan. This is a confidence potential booster for him. 
No good. Hit the right upright. So he'll start the season with some shaky kicks. 35 8. Back after this. This is the final test. Everything you got left. Welcome to the. this thing yeah nope. we're pretty different we're all unique in our own ways Somos muy diferentes. Muy diferentes. Verizon knows everyone in your family is different there are so many of us doing so many different things that's why Verizon lets everyone mix and match different unlimited plans Crashes the gamer. so everyone gets what they need without paying for things they don't the plan is so reasonable they could stay on for the rest of their oh, lives did you get Camera. Switch now to Verizon. New plans start at just $35. That's our lowest price for Unlimited ever. The network more people rely on gives you more. Louie, you've been craving Wingstop's flavor for way too long now. Mm, it's so good to be back. Back where lemon and pepper get a buttery bath that never felt zestier. Where freshly made just for you chicken learns to fly. Where 11 flavors each go to 11. It's like the first time every time. Wingstop, where flavor gets its wings. Fun fact, one in four of us millennials have debt we might die with. And most of that debt is actually from credit cards. It's just not right. But with SoFi, you can get your credit cards right by consolidating your credit card debt into one monthly payment. You can get your interest rate right by locking in a fixed low rate today. And you can get your money right with SoFi. Check your rate in two minutes or less. Get a no-fee personal loan up to 100 k Thursday, it's a huge NFC matchup at Lambeau. Rodgers leads the Packers against Wentz and the Eagles in a QB showdown. Thursday Night Football on Fox, NFL Network, and streaming on Prime Video. The Wisconsin Badgers have sent a statement to all of college football. They are the real deal. Handily beating Michigan 35-8 right now with 7.44 and counting to play in this game. For the Michigan Wolverines, back to the drawing board. Absolutely. In fact, this this series, uh, like the rest of this game is kind of square one. You got to figure out, like, who are we? What can we do on offense? These are great reps for a brand new play caller and Josh Gaddis. Got to figure out what they can do. Down the field, Nico Collins with the catch and a flag. He may have pushed off. But more than anything, when I watch the Wolverines today, from the very beginning, it seems like they're not playing with any inspiration. No spark, no glitter, no energy. Offense number four. 15 yard penalty from the previous spot. First down. That last shove. That's the term I like to call it is sense of urgency. You, know, you hear that a lot from coaches. So you, you, you've got to have a sense of urgency about everything to do with with your craft, and that means you got to have a sense of urgency about the tempo. You got to have a sense of urgency about the details and how you are executing those details of the offense. Success in this game does not just happen magically. It only happens through hard work and paying attention to the details. And. Clearly, Michigan right now is a team that is not detail-oriented. Patterson drilled as he throws it. And somehow, Tariq Black manages to bring it down, one of those 50-50 balls. A 32-yard gain. 
they have got to figure out the offensive line. Watch as two Michigan players, 74 and 51, just knock into each other. That You can't have that. These are simple stunts from the defense. That's Ben Bredesen and Cesar Ruiz. These guys have played a lot of football. John Runyon was back in the game to start this. That's number 75. He was supposed to be their best offensive lineman. Up front, they've just been terrible. Your side. Nico Collins and a first down. And this is what's so maddening, right? So fans, us, we focus on where the ball is going. What is Shea Patterson doing? What is What are the wide receivers doing? What are the running backs doing? And yet, the most important part of offensive football is the offensive line. If you are not blocking up front, getting yourself targeted, and playing detail-oriented physical football up front, then no one else has a chance. Patterson. Nico Collins, great catch. As Nico Collins, the back shoulder throw, nicely done. Now you're going to be wondering if you're a Michigan fan, where were all these play calls early in the in the game? And again, this is square one, right? You're figuring out who you are. What are we? What can we do? What are we good at? Well, maybe focusing on these wide receivers outside is the way to start. Over the middle, incomplete, and a flag. Eubanks. The tight end was the intended receiver. Prior to the pass being thrown, holding defense number 18. Half the distance to the goal, automatic first down. Colin Wilder. Um, he's one of these guys, there's that right arm holding the right hand down. He had that hand up there holding him before the pass, then it's a holding penalty it is. First down and goal of the two. They'll run it and go nowhere. Wow. Hassan Haskins stood up. Driven backwards, Bond. In on another play. And he's just going to squeeze right down in the middle of the field. And again, offensive a, line play. A free rusher inside. That's the interior. This is the goal line. You can't let anybody in your inside shoulder. And that continue happens. That was Shoemaker. Shoemaker, the backup tight end. Second and goal at the five. Patterson steps up. And incomplete. Eubanks, closest man to the ball. That brings up third down and goal. And this is also part of the struggles this season for Michigan is that they've gotten the ball inside the 10, inside the 5 a few different times. And they don't have a great feel of what they are in this position of the field in this new offensive system. Third down goal at the 5. Patterson. Rolling. Throws. Incomplete. Eubanks, the receiver, Colin Wilder again in coverage, and you'd expect the Wolverines to throw caution to the wind and go for it. Yeah, certainly. And again, there was pressure right in the face of Shea Patterson. That was the true freshman, Keanu Benton, number 95. This is a guy that they're really high on, Keanu Benton, and he's played really well. 315 pounds, and he is his teammates. Pride still on the line. They've given up one score this year. They don't want to make it a second one. Fourth down and goal. Shea Patterson dancing in the pocket. Now bounces outside. Looking. Throws. Caught in the back of the end zone and touchdown. Donovan Peoples Jones. Patterson walks off the field holding his right shoulder. I mean, he was hit really hard a couple of plays ago and got up, looks like holding that shoulder. And now he gets himself out of the pocket, trying to find a wide receiver. And Peoples Jones just works just backwards towards that back line of the end zone after Patterson gives him that direction. And he's able to go up the ladder and get it done. Michigan going for two. 
Patterson rolls. Throws off his back foot. And incomplete. Under five to play in the fourth. 35 14. Wolverine still fighting. This watch tells time and takes phone calls and communicates with satellites thousands of miles above the Earth and tracks your distance underwater and tracks your activity and tells you which direction you're going and has an app that measures the electrical waves traveling through your heart, otherwise known as an electrocardiogram. So just to reiterate, this watch tells time, among other things. What does everyone want tonight? Tacos! You can call us crazy, that's okay. We'll get party packs delivered any day. Bring the party to your crew with Taco Bell Party Packs delivered by Grubhub. We hide hotel names, so you can score four-star hotels at two-star prices. I saved hundreds when I switched my car insurance to GEICO. This is how it made me feel. It was like that feeling when you pull your green sock out of the dryer, and then the very next sock is the other green one. And then you pull out two blue ones. And you keep going till you've matched every single sock in perfect order. And the owner of the laundromat is so impressed, he hangs a picture of you next to the dryer. Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Week 3 on Fox. Zeke and the boys are hungry to put on a show. I can't stop them. Against the Dolphins. Or the Broncos take on Aaron Rodgers and the Pack. Let's go! Week 3, Sunday on Fox and the Fox Sports app. The next week, Fox's Big Noon Saturday rolls into Norman, Oklahoma, where the number five Sooners host Texas Tech. Jalen Hurts looks to continue his hot start as Oklahoma starts their Big 12 schedule. It all starts at 11 a.m. with the big new kickoff right here on Fox. And for those of you that are unaware, Jalen Hurts transferred from Alabama to Oklahoma. At Alabama, he didn't look like much of a passer. At Oklahoma under Lincoln Riley, totally different scenario. He looks like the total package, doesn't he? He certainly he looks like Lamar Jackson. He does. He does. And they've got the element now of the threat of the quarterback run. Onside kick. Wolverines say they have it. And they do. So the onside kick working for Michigan. And they'll get the ball again. Well, it's a three-possession game right now, so you would need to score in the next minute or so. Then you need to get another onside kick, and score in a minute or so, then get another onside kick. It is possible. So let's see. Let's see. Let's see how this defense sure has been stingy, though, and they've made them earn their way down the field, and they continue to hit Shea Patterson with this pass rush. Patterson in the shotgun. Over the middle. Incomplete. That one thrown high for Donovan Peoples Jones. Well, here's Zach Bond. And Zach Bond's going to come around and he's going to loop all the way through and watch. He's going to be right in the face of Shea Patterson. And then that's why Shea Patterson's got to throw it a beat earlier than he wants to. Again, this pressure, this offensive line, not passing off the stunts, Gus, at all. And it's presenting a lot of free rushers in the face of the quarterback. Second down. Shea Patterson. Not a lot of time to set his feet. Eubanks 
the intended receiver. That'll bring up third and ten. Man, I love Zach Bond. They call him Sack Sack Zach. That's what Jonathan Taylor called Zach Bond. Watch this move. He's working against 73 Jalen Mayfield. He goes outside and inside, and he splits the double team and is still able to present pressure in the face of the quarterback. He's a relentless pass rusher, and he's certainly been great all day long. Michigan 0 for 8 on third down conversions. Third and 10. Patterson. Knocked away. Incomplete. Nico Collins, the intended receiver, but Deron Harrell right there. And Michigan most likely will go for it on. It's Tariq Black, who's 6'3". And Black did not have control of that ball when it touched the ground, so it's likely to be coming back. And if the call is reversed, that'll bring up second down and 10 at the 19. This is, I said two drives ago, you know, the beginning of, I guess it was last series, I said, hey, listen, this is square one, right? You got to figure out who you are if you're Michigan. Thus, we've done two Michigan games now. Mm -hmm. The only time they've looked really good is when they feature these wide receivers on the outside. After further review, the ruling on the field has changed. The receiver did not control the ball through the process of the catch, and the ball hit the ground. Incomplete pass. Second down and 10 at the 19 yard line. You know, giving these guys a chance on the outside, I would assume that's where they'll go right back to against these undersized corners from Wisconsin. Take on Aaron Rodgers and the pack. Week three. Throw delivers a nice ball to Reek Black with the first down and more. A 20 yard gain. And Patterson stepped up and delivered a beautiful ball to Black there, and he finally had time to do it. He had a clean pocket, and he was able to get down the field with his read, get to the second man with the progression, and deliver a strike. First down for the Wolverines at the 36. Patterson to the far side, and incomplete Black, the intended receiver. Right in front of Caesar Williams. See the frustration. The so the Michigan skill position players, there's nothing has gone right. Shea Patterson, 12 of 29, only 193 yards for Jim Harbaugh in this Michigan offense. Second and 10. Patterson. And whoa, what a stick. Noah Burks chopping down Cornelius Johnson. Man, this defense is fast. They told us that this was a much faster defense. It showed up on tape. I wanted to see it against a Big Ten opponent, but they are running to the football. Third down and seven. Patterson goes through his progressions. Nobody. Patterson taken down. Oh, he gets it to an offensive lineman, John Rundin. There's a flag on the play. It's Ben Bredesen covers it up. There's no foul on the play. It was a backwards pass. The result of the play is Michigan's football at this spot, fourth down. Yeah, this is kind of what I was assuming. If this was forward, obviously it would be a legal touching because Runyon's the first one. But since it was backwards, he's absolutely able to lateral it back to Runyon. But it looked like he was awful close to being down. And yes, he was down. So this spot is wrong. Where this fourth down is right now is, is wrong. It should be all the way up at about the 34-yard line. Michigan snaps it. Patterson winds up. 
And somehow Nico Collins manages to catch it, and there is a flag. Nico Collins. Pass interference, defense number 21. who is smack dab in the middle of the Heisman Trophy conversation. He records his ninth career 200-yard performance. And now a quick message from Duracell. New Duracell Optimum. Extra life in some devices or extra power in others versus Copper Top. Jonathan Taylor. Here's a young man that will probably go home and read some... Neil deGrasse Tyson, yeah. astrophysics, maybe take a hot yoga class, to stretch out later on. Then as the night comes, take a look through his telescope, out at the stars in the universe. I don't know about you, man. I didn't have friends smart like that growing up. You think I did? <laughs> <laughs> you looking over here? Let's ask Jenny. Jenny's the one with Jenny, smart uh, friends. She's, the smart she's smart herself and runs in those circles. Third down and five and 21. Here's Cohen. And the Badger stay on the ground. Not enough for the first down. Let's take a look at the road ahead. For both these teams, brought to you by Coors Light. Yeah, Wisconsin, they're going to get Northwestern. And this is a team that I got to tell you, they'll be looking for right here. This is. The one that they'll be circling. Oh, not Illinois. I'm trying to move that. Was, Ohio State. Okay. That's the game. Yeah, you need to work on your telestrate a little bit. It's a little fickle, you know. It's uh, humid today. Mm -hmm. Number six, Ohio State, on the road. We've seen Ohio State a couple of times. Now we've gotten to see Wisconsin, and they are the class of the Big Ten right now, you know, and that could be the first of two meetings. How about Michigan? Well, this is this this week kicks off such a difficult stretch, not just because, you know, they've, they've got Penn State, Iowa, Notre Dame coming up. But this was the first week of seven consecutive weeks where they're going to face power five opponents or Notre Dame. Notre Dame, by the way, is coming off of a bye uh, when they face Michigan. So a really tough stretch ahead of Michigan here in the next seven weeks. Roddy Bell goes back to the 21. Brings it up the field and it's finally knocked down shy of the 35, a 53-yard punt and a 13-yard return. And we'll stay right here. 228 to go in the fourth. Michigan will have to work on a lot of things. Yeah. Their running game, especially Wisconsin with 361 yards rushing and five touchdowns. Michigan with 31 yards rushing tells a story there it certainly does and the team with over 300 yards rushing last year was Michigan I believe they ran for about 320 yards I think the Wolverines Wisconsin. miss Chris Evans well I, listen I think it's I don't think you can point at just one player because this philosophy this change in offense is totally different as far as how they want to run if they want to run so on and so forth so Michigan is is right now searching you know, on, the, on the flip side, Wisconsin has everything that they need to be great. Think about it, right? You start, you start listing off. Okay, what? Well, how are we built, Wisconsin, when we're a great team? Well, we have balance on offense. They certainly, I feel like, have found that with Jack Cohen as their quarterback. He was tremendous today. They, you know, you've got the Heisman Trophy candidate that, at the running back position. The offensive line is really good. Now you look on the defense. What do they need to be great on defense? Great edge rushers. Thus, Zach Bond fits that bill. Milton runs it and gets down to the 40. And then also fast, aggressive secondary play. And and Jim Leonard, who played secondary himself, the defensive coordinator, he has that in these guys on the outside. Harrell, Wild Goose, Hicks. He's really high on this entire secondary. Now the whole the only hard part is that next week for the first half, he's gonna be without Eric Burrell and Reggie Pearson who are both ejected for targeting in the third quarter. Joe Milton. And incomplete. The producer of today's game is Chuck McDonald. And the director, a man we affectionately call The Vision, Rich Dewey. The associate directors are Robert Bubba Slosby and Ryan Doherty. 
The sideline producer is Johnny Araya, and the broadcast associate is Andrew Wolf. Our technical producer is Thomas Lynch. Our statisticians are Jeff Chapman and Josh Fry. Steve Owens is our researcher, and my spotter, Ichabod, a.k.a. Scotty Dutta. And Milton over the middle intercepted. Four turnovers for Michigan today. No turnovers for the Badgers. To Chino. That's the way to end it if you're Wisconsin.